I found an old curves file from Pro Concept, which I'm not even sure exists anymore. And I started playing around with it, creating a part file and then thought, what if I was just doing some conceptual work and then wanted to turn that into something real, into an assembly with actual components? What are the different techniques that you could use to do that? So let's take a look. Again, I just have a part created in standard mode. Now I'm gonna create my assembly, file new assembly, and this is going to be for my remote control. If I can spell. And I'll use my default template for the assembly. Now I've got it started out. Let's create our skeleton model. I'll hit the create button and then from the create component dialog box, I'm going to use skeleton model. I'll leave the default name and click OK. In order to use that part, a technique I can use is copy from existing. And instead of using my standard start part, I'll use the browse button. And let's go to in session and I'll find that original part that I was working on and open it, then click OK. And in this way, I have my skeleton model and it's got all the geometry from the original part that I was working on. Now I can use this as the basis for creating my other different components. Let's unclutter the screen a bit. Let's hide a bunch of our datums and some other things that I don't need inside of here. Just making things manageable. All right, so now that I've got all this geometry in the skeleton, I want to make a top part of this device and a bottom part. And I've got my parting line over here. The easy way to do that is to create the individual components in the assembly. I'll click Create Component again, but this time I'm going to choose Part. And then let's call this the Remote Control Top. And click the OK button. This time I will use my default template for creating the part and click OK. Then for locating it, I'm just going to right click and hold to use the default constraint and hit the check mark. Let's repeat that for the bottom of the remote control. Component create, part, rename it. It's going to be my remote control bottom. Click the OK button. Use my standard default template, click OK. And for locating it, I'm just going to hold down the right mouse button and choose default constraint again. Then you can hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. Let's again hide our various different datums in here just to unclutter the screen. You can also use layers for doing this. And now I want to get all the geometry from the skeleton model into these individual parts. So I can select each part and activate them. And the simple way is to use the data sharing feature Merge Inheritance. And for Merge Inheritance, let's select our skeleton model. And everything else in here can pretty much stay the same for the properties. I'll just call this Merge Skeleton so I know what I'm grabbing. And hit the check mark. So now all the geometry from the skeleton is in this particular part. Next, let's go to the bottom part and activate it. Repeat the process. I'll go to the Get Data Overflow, Merge Inheritance. Click on the skeleton as the source model. And let's change the name of the feature. Hit the check mark. And that way, I've also copied the geometry into the bottom part. Now I can go to the top part and open it in its own separate window. Let me go to, oh, I actually did not get the parting plane in here. Let's go back to the assembly window and we can edit definition. And from the references tab, I can make sure that I either copy the datum planes or change this to an inheritance and grab it manually. So let's do that for this feature as well. Edit definition, go to the references tab, copy datum planes hit the check mark. Now let's go back to its own separate window. I can use the open icon from the mini toolbar. And first off, I only want to have the top portion of the geometry in here. So I'm going to use this datum plane for the parting plane 
to create a solidify feature. And I'll go to solidify. Right now it's removing the top part of the geometry. Let's flip the direction so I'm keeping the top and hit the check mark. Now let's turn off our datum plane display to reduce our clutter. And I need to hollow this out so I will use the shell command. Let's remove this particular surface as using a thickness. I'll just go with the default thickness for now. And this way I've got the top part started. Now let's hop back over to the assembly and let's repeat that for the bottom part. I will click on it, then use open from the mini toolbar. Let me turn on the datum plane display again. Let's select the parting plane. Click on solidify. And again, the solidify command is a nice way of doing a cut using a datum plane without having to use a sketch. And I will remove the top in this case over here. Let's turn off the datums. I can hide the merge feature so I no longer see that curve. I still see the solid geometry. Once again, I can use the shell feature to hollow out this part, removing the top surface, and then hit the check mark. Let's hop back over to the assembly, and I'm gonna hide the skeleton model. And so that way, it looks a lot like it did before. Let me hide the merge feature from the top part. Just wanted to turn off the display of one of the curves. Let me see my coordinate system. I just want to make a cross section and I just wanted to see, okay, let's do a cross section in the X direction. Right on the model tab in assembly mode, you have a section drop down, and I can create an X direction cross section. There we go. And that way you can see how my part looks. And I've got my two individual components. I've got a perfect parting line in there. And that's just, again, some different techniques that you can use in order to use an existing part as the basis for creating a skeleton and then using the skeleton model for creating the geometry for individual components. So just a few different top-down design and standard part modeling techniques. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.